Okay, Phillies fans, you may be a bit on edge these days with the team on a losing skid and their wild card lead nearly gone. But fans always have hope, and the 2008 championship is a huge reason for that. So joining me now is the man who managed that championship, championship team, Charlie Manuel, and he's joined by Mark Adams, who is the owner of Hog Island Press. And they're here to talk about a new initiative to raise money and awareness for an organization called RIP Medical Debt. Charlie Manuel, so Hi. exciting to see Glad you, to Mark. Great to have you here with us as well. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's start with Charlie Knows Best. Uh, tell us about this initiative. That is such a wonderful, fitting name. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, Charlie Knows Best to me. Like uh, I met Mark, and we got together. He was explaining to me, you know, like uh, you know, basically about what he does, mm -hmm. and uh, and he says he's just talking to me and. And he and he I thought it was a good idea. He thought what we wanted to do was a good idea as far as, you know, me, me doing something for someone or something like that. And we got together and uh, he, all the all our T-shirts things are he basically he does all the he makes the T-shirts and he does all that. But these are my sayings mm. that I do uh, say in baseball, like when I'm sitting in a dugout talking to a hitter. Right. Or. Uh, or any anything else like that, you know, like it's things that I, uh, uh, my players always tell me that I say goofy things <laughs> sometimes and everything like that. So I thought maybe if I would take my time and uh, and uh, uh, give back uh, something to people, like for instance, my hospital bills, I've had health problems and they mm -hmm. were tremendously, the insurance paid a lot of money for me. And, and this is a way for me to try to help 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 people that needs it, and uh, and he, he does such a great job with the T-shirts. I thought that was a good idea. Yeah, and I'm sure Mark, you have a lot of people come to your shop all the time and ask for certain things for you to print. Why was this cause so personal to you? Uh, the big picture is that for me, owning Hog Island Press, uh, the origins of it all was to just kind of celebrate the uniqueness that is being a Philadelphian, being a Philadelphia sports fan, and. And, and, and being a fan of this city, mm -hmm. um, and very few people had, had influenced me and my perspective on it as much as Charlie has. So to come to the point now where I'm able to collaborate with him and, and, and share some of his messages, which I think work on a scale even bigger than baseball. Like, yeah. I, I feel like this stuff can be applied to, to life as well. Um, it, it's, it's been something of a dream come true. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's been something of a full circle voyage for me with Hog Island Press, and, and I'm excited to, to do more. And, and, yeah. A fan turned partner, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so you brought some shirts. I There's did. some special sayings. Charlie, can you tell us about the sayings and yeah, why they're so meaningful? Okay, the party is out front. Why be late? <laughs> party is out front, like in my swing in baseball, yeah. when I hit the ball out front. You know, stay behind the baseball and hit it out in this area here. That is the that is the most the fastest and the quickest way of my bat speed, and that's the that's hitting with actually hitting, staying strong and hitting with power. Mm -hmm. And the uh, whole object of it is is to get a good ball to hit in your strength. And you know, like you got to have a lot of patience, and you got to uh, you know, like be focused on what you're doing. And out front's where the party's at. That's, ah. uh, hey, that's where all the <laughs> all the hard hitting go, is. And this one. This one is empty head means a full bat. That means don't think too much. Don't you know, like don't don't get into mm -hmm. analyzing everything you do. To keep as simple as possible, go up and look for a good ball to hit, and and basically stay on it and hit it. We do that a lot. All right, and before we go, mm -hmm. Charlie, we got to talk about this. The Phils, they've lost nine of yeah. their last 12 games, and it looks like they're falling apart down the stretch. Do you think they'll still be able to make the playoffs? Because as we said, Charlie knows best. I think right now, I think uh, today's a big day. Uh, for them, every game that they play here on out, they got to put everything they got into it and only key on today's game. And we're going to win this game today, and then then we'll think about tomorrow. And I think it, uh, as far as playing the game wise, uh, you know, like uh, I like to see us have our best players on the on the field and put and put every as 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 good as we are, mm -hmm. we still have to play to our our ability and we got a key and we got to get out in front too we got it would be nice for us to get out today come out and and take get some runs early get out in front where we can relax i think we are pressing a little bit 
But uh, baseball is a funny game. There's a lot of luck in it, and what you got to do, you got to stay focused. And, and believe me, today's the only game that counts. And I love that. That is a good message for baseball and beyond. Focus on today, and then we come tomorrow. All right, Charlie, Mark, thank you so much for joining <laughs> us this morning, and good luck with this initiative. Thank you. Thank you. Great. For more information about the Charlie Knows Best Project, how you can get involved, just get to our NBC10 app or head to NBC10.com/slash/find it on 10.